General Stonewall Jackson, Confederate Civil War soldier, shot by his own men, died eight days later, but not directly of those gunshot wounds. Stonewall Jackson was a victim of friendly fire, which is kind of ironic because he was in fact very much beloved by his men. General Jackson was shot actually three times. He was shot twice in the left arm and once in the right hand. The bullet that struck the arm above the elbow completely shattered his humerus. First thing they do is give him a bottle of whiskey, he takes a big swig of it. That's about the dumbest thing that you can do. You'd have to drink enough alcohol to be just about comatose before it's going to work as an anesthetic. But by the time it did that, it's lowered your blood pressure to the point where you're probably going to bleed to death. His physicians examined him, they determined there's no way they're going to be able to save the arm. They took General Jackson, they chloroformed him a little too much, and you could become so profoundly unconscious that you stop breathing. Too little chloroform, and you could wake up in the middle of somebody sawing your arm off. The saw was laid onto the limb, sawing through the skin, the muscle, the connective tissue, and then the bone. He wakes up from the surgery, and he does surprisingly well. He has conversations with his aides. He corresponds back and forth with some other generals. Around day four, things take a dramatic turn for the worse. He develops fever. He begins to slip in and out of consciousness. And Stonewall Jackson actually died of pneumonia. He didn't directly die of his injuries of the gunshot wounds, and he didn't directly die of the amputation. Pneumonia, as a consequence of an amputation during the Civil War, was quite common. Again, it was very difficult for the physician applying the chloroform to determine just how much the patient was getting. So inhaling one's saliva, one's stomach content was a constant risk. And if you did inhale some of your stomach contents, particularly if somebody gave you, let's say, whiskey right before they operated on you, you very possibly might develop a pneumonia as a consequence of this operation. 